Okay, Paul, what do we got here? What we have here is the Hogtoons high-end product called the Wild Boar Kit. We are going to be putting a six-speaker, 900-watt system on your bike. The Honorable presents the Big Board Build Series here on YouTube, where we take a 2022 oh. Harley Davidson build a touring performance bagger, which will be known as the Big Board. The Big Board official sponsors are Pit Trail Harley Custom Dynamics, Rainwater Holden Saxton. Six speaker, 900 yep. watt. Is it two amps? Am Three correct? amps. Three amps. Yep. And they all mount up front? All up under the fairing. Okay, so you're going to kind of show us the ins and outs of this. We will show you that. Okay. For you, being as you're special, Ed. we have taken the lower pods that we are going to take out your little glove boxes. Yes. And we are going to put the lower pods with your fifth and sixth speakers. But at the shop before we came here, yeah. we... Oh man. Went ahead and painted these Hell yeah. to match the bike. So they're going to go along with the rest of the bike okay. as we do the fairing and the heat shields and all that stuff. But so that's my lower fairing. Yep. So this is going to go place of this little rubber plastic part and have speakers down here. Okay. And that's an OEM part. This is a Hogtoons part. That is a Hogtoons part. Okay. Yes, so you'd get that through Hogtoons. Yes. This comes through Hogtoons. We but just painted, you painted it because it comes black. All right. There we go. You paint everything. Anything Paul can get his hands on, he paints it. Pretty much. <laughs> so how cool is that? But like, you, you just want to make that very clear. If you do get this system, uh, that it will be black. Yes, Paul actually from, got that this, from This part it. that we color matched here <clears throat> comes gloss black. You can do that for people or would you? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Okay. yeah. yeah. Yep. Right. We have yeah. a number of them we've done. That looks amazing. I like it because it actually faces the speaker up towards you. Instead of being straight out, it kind of curves it up towards yeah, you. Yeah, I so. noticed that the other day on those. Your bike. Yeah. Well, that's so, pretty cool. There's one piece of it there. We'll so be, what will happen, Paul, is we'll have the speaker in here, like you just said. Yep. In the lower, and then we'll go up here and have speakers in the dash. Going to upgrade these speakers. And then come and back here. And then we're going to upgrade these back here. Okay. And then the amps go up here. All three amps are two of them behind the headlight and one beside the... Headlight. Woo, man. This is something new to me, of course, is because I don't know audio and we're going to be learning it as we're into it. We ran with Hogtoons amp and front speakers in the dash this last half year and I enjoyed them. And that's why we're going to go back with them today. You ready for this? Yes. We've got, there's one set of speakers. Okay. This is our rear speakers. These, okay, so this is the lowers and the rears. Rear wiring harness. Yeah. We got three. Three. All right. Wild boar audio. Oh, okay. Nice. Here's your factory front speaker, just to give you an idea. They call it a six and a half inch, but they've got this huge ring. So you really still only have a four and a half inch speaker. With the new Wild Boar, just to give you a comparison, a carbon fiber cone, larger. And then take a look at the back side of the speaker. Holy shit, man. Quite a big difference. This factory speaker has a little tweeter in the middle of it taking up again part of the cone the new one you've got a high quality tweeter in in the speaker grill so this plugs in here you get your speaker and your grill together here 
So I always wondered why that was up on those, and that's yep. because we're getting that tweeter yep. up yep. out of the way. Correct. Yep. Okay. They're they're giving this the total chance to move and do what it needs to. You go right ahead. Wow. Well, holy shit. It's heavy. <laughs> yeah, that's it's crazy the amount of difference in the weight for sure. No. Holy shit. Yeah. It's that magnet, isn't it? Yep. Okay. This is motorcycle audio. It's made for a motorcycle. It's not car audio that we're putting into a motorcycle. It's made to have a lower draw from the amp so you don't tax your charging system. Guys will put 1,000 watt amps that belong in cars into a bike. They can't handle that. It will tax your charging system. You'll find yourself on the side of the road broken down. Yeah, because me and Scott, we talked about that. And as we, we talked about it, he's like, we don't want to do anything that's going to you know, tax your charging system Correct. and put you guys out. And this is a motorcycle. you got to ride it. You're yeah. not doing competition audio. There's guys that spend all kinds of money to do that. That's not what we're looking for. We're looking for something good for you to ride Manageable, and listen to music. Manageable, still sound good, affordable. Yep. Now, the rear speakers, again, okay. same as the front, but there's not enough room in those pods to put the front speakers. So they've made a different speaker for the rear, which has a different magnet on it. But this is a neodymium magnet. So it's a stronger magnet, but it's smaller. Say it again, a neodymium. A neodymium, it's, neil diamond. Yeah, that. It's a neil diamond <laughs> speaker. Wow. So, so yes, but again, still the whole carbon fiber phone, cone and the tweeter in the grill. So this is a sealed system here. So. Wow, learning. Okay, so, so once we'll again, us. they're do they've done a lot of work. We are to upgrade and make this where the last and fit and sound. So yep. We're right here, guys. Let Paul plug it in. Plug it in. Put it back in place. Now, I will tell you these. You use the factory screws to put back in this nice new grill but you don't want to over tighten them you get them good and snug because it's sitting in a rubber insert if you over tighten them those inserts will pull out and you'll have a speaker laying in your back seat so this is a rubber insert yep so they're made to be snug not tight okay don't over tighten your speaker screws correct Really though, guys, it's pretty amazing to see the difference between these speakers. I really, I've never looked at them, never had them side by side, and we do that a lot. Um, get your different products out, set them on the table, pick them up, fill them, touch them. In this case, we're gonna hear them. Uh, definitely a huge upgrade, and so much difference between the stock and the hog tune. Really cool, the little tweeter there that goes in the cover, how they did that. So it gives it all the space they can there. Carbon fiber. You can definitely see the fiber in there when you get in there and look. All right? There's three of these. These, like I said before, these are from Hog Tunes, 400 watts. So one goes up in here. Yep. There's actually two of them fit back to back, right up in here on a bracket. They sit okay. underneath the radio. All right. Headlight sits in back here. Yep. And then the third one will go over here on the side in behind the fairing. Okay, so all together three of these. Yes, sir. So it makes 1,200. One for each set of speakers. So we're gonna have no six shit. speakers, three amps. Dang. And you run this system, you know what it sounds like. Amazing. All right. So that's what's happening right now. And come over here, I'll show you what's laying out on the table. How sexy is that? Not that headlight. <laughs> Once again, the headlight's gone, custom dynamics. So this is what Paul does. These are OEM parts that he color matches, OEM colors from Harley Davidson. So he's got them for all makes and models, basically. All the Harley Touring bikes. Harley Touring, yes. okay. Better watch it how I say that. <laughs> uh, and then you, you go everywhere to install We do these. all the major rallies. We also occasionally do road trips like we're here. We're on our way right now to South Dakota and then Minnesota and Wisconsin. That's in between cool part. events.
Guys, everyone's been watching us start this big board build here at Petro Harley Davidson. This week, Paul from Fair and Exchange came in and he installed the Wild Boar Audio by Hog Tubes. We were talking about it and going over the quality of the product that we we're installing. We always talk about that. You're paying for what you get for and seeing these speakers beside each other. So we took the stock speakers out of this 22 limited Harley Davidson, and then we replaced them with the wild boar audio speakers and they were unbelievably different. You can see right here in the video, uh, visually how different they are and to pick them up is unreal. Then on top of that, to hear them is super impressive. So we're lucky enough, we're gonna have, bring on Scott from Wild Boar Audio by Hog Tunes on. Scott, how are you doing today, man? I'm doing real well, TJ, how are you doing? I'm doing great. You know, we're sitting here talking about the quality of y'all's product and I'm just gonna let you tell us a little bit about yourself and Wild Boar Audio. Yeah, I've been uh, around this game now for a number of years. I've been with Hog Tunes coming up on 14 years now. And uh, I love the company. I love the product. Uh, we're proud of what we do with, uh, uh, with our brand and, and what we put out there. So Scott, with, with saying that, you and I have never met face to face, but we've been visiting. We've been around each other uh, for years. We just haven't met. Uh, right. Talking about the motorcycle culture, you guys are in the culture and you are trying to provide us with a quality system that you're not over paying for as well. Exactly. Uh, all of us at Hogtoons, we've been involved in the uh, mobile electronics world for a number of years. Uh, myself and one of the other guys, we were teachers at a private school uh, that taught mobile electronics for a number of years before moving on. Uh, our company's owner was involved at a very high level in the audio game, uh, as we all have to different degrees. And uh, we know audio. We know what makes up good quality product. We know what the limitations are that we're up against on a motorcycle. And uh, it really gives us a, new, a unique perspective to be able to bring this product out and, uh, and put something out there that's going to work and uh, be safe for the uh, everyday rider. Yeah, and Scott, you talked about that right there. So this isn't audio in your car. This isn't car audio. This is for motorcycles. Correct. Yeah. And there's a very big difference there. Uh, car audio, we've got lots of space. We can build big enclosures. We've got lots of power available to us in the form of bigger charging systems. Uh, easily, we can put other alternators on the, on the car to boost up that power should we need it. Uh, we don't have that luxury on a bike. So we really have to be aware of the limitations, uh, both of the electrical system and then take you, for example, uh, you're riding around the country. You don't want to be packing your saddlebags with amplifiers and uh, everything else to get your audio system to run. So we are aware of that. And we really try and make a product, uh, like I said, for that average everyday rider, that person that really wants to have a, a nice performing system, but still actually use their bike and not have it down and not be modifying it to great lengths. Yeah, and that's one thing that impressed me, Scott, when we begun talking, you you were already putting together a package for Stefano because you'd already done the research, we'd already talked about how our riding style is, and you came up with the package that we put in our bike. Can we talk a little bit about that? Yeah, of course. Uh, we ended up putting what we call our whole hog kit in your bike. Uh, and that consists of three of our uh, wild boar amplifiers that uh, all mounted inside your front fairing so you didn't lose any space. Uh, we ended up doing uh, upper speakers. We did your rear speakers and your lower speakers. Yeah, and I'm going to tell you what, they're impressive too because of how they were built. It sounds amazing, but I got to look how you are, you're the quality and what it's built out of. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, of course. On the speakers themselves, we do a lightweight um, uh, nylon basket that's on that speaker. And that allows that, uh, that speaker, as I said, to be a nice lightweight basket. We take up some additional weight with the magnet structure that we use. We've done that intentionally. The magnet is going to help keep that speaker cool. Inside that speaker, there's a voice coil that will uh, have power flowing through as that speaker is playing. That larger magnet structure is going to pull heat away. That's going to allow that speaker to play louder, longer, 
And that's especially important on these new bikes when that speaker is inside of a cabinet, there's not a lot of airflow. So we want to really make sure sure that that speaker is going to be a reliable one. Uh, that's exactly why we've designed it that way. The cone of the speaker, we use real carbon fiber to produce the cone. Again, it's a very strong, lightweight material. So it's going to take less energy from that speaker to actually move the cone back and forth, move the speaker back and forth. So you're going to get more power to the actual speaker. You're going to get a nice, crisp, clean sound, great bass response from it. Yeah, no doubt, man. Like you're telling me all this, all all these words and like putting it all together. <laughs> and, and, but it makes total sense when I hear it because I don't think about this. It's not my forte. It's not what I do. And to look at y'all speakers, we pulled them out and I was just, I, I just stood there and looked at them like, damn, these are a piece of work. I mean, it's a piece of art. It's unbelievable how pretty they were before we put them in. Um, just unbelievable the, the difference between other speakers when I looked at them. I just, I'm so thankful that we got to see this firsthand. It's a view not too many people get, uh, especially if, if they're not doing the install, uh, the shop is doing the install and, and you're right, they, they really are beautiful. They're a cool looking piece. We wish we could show them off uh, you know, even more, but uh, yeah, there's a lot of magic that goes into those speakers for certain. Uh, we really, really do put a lot into it. And, and you just mentioned it's not your forte and there's nothing wrong with that. Uh, that's why this product exists. We build the product for the person that, hey, I want a nice upgrade. I, I want it to sound great and I just need it to work. I want it to go in and be finished with it. And that's exactly what we've put into that product. We've done all the guesswork for you. You don't have to mess around with, uh, we're trying to match stuff up. You put these in and you're going to be set. Yeah, absolutely. And that's what we talked about once again, man. It's just unbelievable the quality on these. And then we talk about y'all's amps. Like I was impressed with the size of those. I don't know how y'all are, you know, making it such a tight, uh enclosure and and it fits so well in that front ferry it just it, it just impressed me so much and have that much power come out of those yeah it's uh we we almost kind of reverse engineer the the amplifier design and the idea that we'll take the given space that we have and we say okay this is what we need to do we're not taking an amp that that already exists in our lineup and okay yeah it happens to fit so we'll just use it we look at the space available and we as i said develop the amplifier around it and then from there once we know okay here's the amount of space that we have this is going to be the heat sink size that we can do we then uh, start to develop okay how much power can we realistically get out of this and make it reliable heat management is a major uh, concern on amplifier design so all of these things are going on in the background when a customer has that amplifier. And, and with, again, our, our approach, we really want the, the, you know, any of our customers to understand that we've done the homework. We know that this is going to go in. We know that it's going to work for you. You saw how they mounted in your bike. We're really utilizing all the space that we possibly can uh, to make that, uh, that install happen. And uh, yeah, we're very, very proud of it. Yeah, man, and like you said a while ago, and stuff I've talked to this, uh, we touch on this all the time, is we want to spend the money on quality, put it in, and then get our money's worth, then forget about it. We don't want to touch it again. We don't want to think about it again. We just want it to work every time we jump on that bike and take off down the road. And that's what's impressed me. Uh, guys, if you don't know, in our Road Glide special, before we're doing the big board build here, Steph and I have rode all 48 states on that bike, run hard, fast, and heavy. We had the wild boar audio. We did the front speakers in the dash with the amp because I was having so much trouble. I couldn't even hear the radio at all over 65, 70. And once again, we were talking with Paul with Fair and Exchange. He's like, TJ, you've got to try this system out. And from then, Steph and I have built our trust with wild boar audio here and it's uh we built our relationship talking with scott over the phone once again we haven't met but man it's so cool that we're getting to build this relationship off two wheels again and talking about stereo stuff that i never knew and learning so much from you man and i i can't thank you enough for taking the time out and and sharing your knowledge with us 
Yeah, anytime. It's something we really enjoy doing. We all talk audio. We all love it. And uh, and having an opportunity like this is, is just amazing. So thank you to both you and Steph for allowing us to be a part of this. Uh, we're incredibly excited to be part of the big board build. Yeah. And uh, yeah, we look forward to seeing you out there. Yeah, man. Real quick before we get off here um, and all you guys, y'all just stay tuned to our channel. We're going to be uh, doing a lot of mods and upgrades to that big bore. It's going to be a great series here on YouTube. So, Scott, where can the folks find you at? Uh, any of our products are available through Drag Specialties. So any dealer uh, that deals with Drag Specialties would be able to get our product. And you can get more information and find products at hogtunes.com. Right on. And can, for example, Scott, can you tell us a price point on maybe a package that you have together so the folks can kind of have an idea? Yeah, we have a number of different products available uh, and a couple of different lineups. So for Rogue Glide as an example, we have kits that are going to start at around, and by a kit, I would refer to an amp and speaker kit. Our kits are going to be complete with all of your wiring, your mounting, your hardware, everything. And we have kits starting at just over $500, right up into pretty substantial kits that are going to be just over two grand, uh, which okay. would be a multi-speaker, multi-amp kit. So we've, we've got it. We are, we've got you covered. So with that being said, Scott, I was thinking maybe our bike might be a little bit different with that, that, um, how we kind of set our bike up. I think Paul was sharing a little bit with us. So if folks see it in our video. We have four. 200 four we have let me get this right we have three 400 watt amp is that correct yep, exactly yep we did three of our uh wild boar uh 400.2 our, our amplifiers in that bike that is uh, our newest amplifier in the wild boar line uh it is a fantastic amplifier and that's going to give you plenty of power and each one of those amps is going to drive a set of speaker a set of speakers on your bike so that's really going to allow each amp to really kind of tailor itself to exactly what that set of speakers is doing. What the front speakers are doing is a little different than say the rears or the lowers. So it gives us a lot more control on that system. That's so, I mean, that's what it's all about. You guys, you just, I, I'm learning all this stuff and it amazes me. So Steph and I on the big board, we have 1200 watts of sound. Yep. Oh, Absolutely. <laughs> it's so <laughs> crazy that we cranked it at pig trail and, it, and everybody just turned around. I mean, uh, of course, Paul and I were enjoying it. Uh, we did a live video with it. We got uh, demonetized or monetized because we had a, a certain song on, but it was amazing right. because it just, it didn't, you didn't just hear the music. You felt it. It filled the room up. It, uh, of course, it was awesome. We loved it so very much. I can't wait to get it out on the road and hear it off the bluffs and canyons. Uh, just be a little ornery with some great, music, <laughs> you know, uh, real quick too, Scott, what about your warranty? Yeah, we have uh, really one of the best warranties on an audio product in the industry. Um, we have, as I mentioned before, we have a couple of different levels in our brand. So our Wild Boar brand, uh, we do a five-year warranty on those speakers. Um, we do a three-year warranty on all of our amplifiers. And then in our Hogtunes line, and this might uh, sound a little crazy, but in our Hogtunes line, which is really our, our starting point, our entry-level brand, uh, we actually have a 20-year warranty on those speakers. So we really stand behind the product. We back it up. If there's any concerns or questions, we're always there to help customers out. And uh, Scott, again, did, we, we did you, really make sure it's looking. Did you say, let's go back. Did you say how many? Years? <laughs> we have a 20 year warranty on the Hogtunes branded speakers. And then on the Wild Boar branded speakers, yeah, we, when, when you build the speaker and you know what goes into it, you know how it's going to run, you can stand behind it. There really shouldn't be, uh, be an issue with that. Um, and then on the Wild Boar speakers, we do a five-year warranty uh, on those, and we do a five-year warranty on our XL line, which is um, a similar to Wild Boar speaker, but for the older bikes, uh, for that 98 to 13 time frame. Okay. Well, hey, that, that's the point right there, Scott. To each and every one of you guys out there watching this right now, I want to make this very clear with you guys. Steph and I, the honoring one, we put people first, then product. We get to know the people, then we start talking about the product, and then we start showing you guys after we put it through miles and miles and miles of the honoring one test. And we are talking about Wild Boar Audio. 
for a reason here. And we are showing this for a reason. Know who you're doing business with. Y'all, please do that. You can always go find something cheaper, higher, but you get out there on the internet and it get, you get lost with so much. There's so much to pick from. Please take the time and do your research. And I hope you guys are watching this video and it helps you guys sort through everything out there. But we highly recommend Wild Boar Audio. The ordinary one stands behind it 110%. Scott, thank you so much for taking your time and sharing your knowledge with all of us ordinary assets because we sure do appreciate it, man. Hey, happy to do it. Thank you again for the opportunity. All right, Scott, we'll talk to you a little bit later on, man. You have a great night. What are we up to now? We have finished installing all six speakers mm -hmm. and the amps, and now we're gonna flash the radio to know that it's got those speakers and amps in it, and then we'll move on from there. All right. So basically, we're gonna have a sound off. Yeah. What kind of music are we gonna listen to? Um, 80s. The long so, hair band? Uh, sure. Yeah, a hair yeah. band. <laughs> That's what we're going to do. Oh. Yeah. Maybe. No pun intended, because we're bald. Nope. That's right. exactly right. Not a no hair band, but a hair band. Right, right. The long so what he's doing here is getting on the uh, computer off the bike so he can order pizza. Yes. It's the best way to get... Yeah, no doubt what we're hearing there is all hog tune love right there. So once again, Paul, what did we just hear? What's the setup we got here? This is a six speaker kit from Hog Tunes. It's their wild boar product, which is their high end product. We have installed the regular speakers, the rear pod speakers and the lower speakers in this, along with three amps. Wow. This is actually a system that's not released. We've got three 400 watt amps instead of the three 300 watt amps that would normally be in the kit. But so we got a 1200 total. 1200 with, watts going so through six speakers. There it is, so 200 per? 200 per speaker. Dang. Sounds great, sounds clear. Yep. And then I can't wait to get out on the road, we yeah. really crank it up out there and not make everybody like, what the hell's going on in here? <laughs> yeah. Because it was rocking pig trails, wa ro rocking pig trails walls. Man, I can't talk because I can't hear them. I don't think about that. Absolutely, guys, but there's the amps. And they, so you got one over here already kind of tucked up. These two also, where they're looking at here, tuck up over there. So it all tucks in nicely. Once again, <laughs> dash speaker, the lowers, and the B side back here in the tour pack. All right, he's got some other things he's gonna do. Of course, we're gonna get on to some matchy matchy, which I always like. Look at all the prettiness. Good job, Paul. So Paul. now we made it sound good. Now it's time to make it look good. Make it. We're gonna do that. And that's just for me. Yes, well, yeah. for her too. Yeah, it's her, but I gotta say that interfering changed. That's what you're looking at yeah. every time you're on the road. Yeah, when you said that after riding it, I was like, bam, you. You do exactly. You nailed yep. it. All right, we'll get on to the next then. <laughs> 